In this video, we're going to learn how to read and store the lines of a file into an array of strings using C. So here I have a file with four lines of text in it. And what I want to do is read each line of the file and store it into an array of strings. Now one way to have an array of strings in C is with a 2D character array. So the first thing I'll do is define constants for the dimensions of this character array. We'll define a constant max lines and we'll set it to 100. And we're going to say that's the maximum number of lines we expect in a file. I'll make another constant max len. This is the maximum expected length for any particular line in the file. And we'll set that to be 1000. Next, we'll make a 2D character array with these dimensions. So we'll say car data, max lines, and max len. And we're going to store each line of the file as a string in this 2D character array. We'll need a file pointer variable to access the file. So we'll declare that next. We'll say file star file to make the file pointer variable. We'll use fopen to open the file. So we'll say file is equal to fopen file.txt and then r. So fopen is going to open the file called file.txt. This second argument here, the r in the string, that's going to open the file in reading mode. So we're going to be able to read the content from the file. Now, if fopen succeeds, it's going to return the file pointer that's going to allow us to access the file. If it fails, it's going to return null and file will be set to null. So we can check for that. We'll say if file is equal to null, we know something's gone wrong in the opening of the file. And we'll print out an error message for the user. So we'll say error opening file. And then we'll return one to terminate the execution of the program. We're going to return one instead of returning zero because returning one is a signal to the terminal, to the shell here, that something has gone wrong in the execution of our program. The next thing we can do is actually read each line of the file and store it into our 2D character array. What I'm going to do is create a variable called line. And line is going to keep track of the current line that we're reading in from the file. So that way we know where to place that string in our 2D character array. Line will also let us know how many lines were actually in the file. So line will let us know how many rows of our 2D character array actually contain a string. So to read the data from the file, we'll make a loop. And the loop is going to have a condition that stops the loop when either we've reached the end of the file or there's been an error reading from the file. We're going to use the F EOF and F error functions to help us detect these conditions. So F EOF is going to return true once we've reached the end of the file. So, so long as this is not true, so long as we haven't reached the end of the file, we want to continue. We're going to have one more condition though. We're also going to make sure that there hasn't been an error while reading from the file. And we're going to use the F error function to detect this. So we'll say and, and F error is going to return true if there's been an error reading from the file. So, so long as this is not true, so long as there hasn't been an error when reading from the file, we're going to continue. Now in each iteration of the loop, we're going to read in the next line of the file and store it into our 2D character array. We're going to use F gets to do that. We'll say F gets data at the index line, max len, and then file. So F gets is going to read the next line from the file. It's going to store it into our character array at the row line. It's going to store a maximum of max len characters into this row. And it's going to read it from the file with this file pointer here. Now, when F gets reaches the end of the file, it's going to return null. So we'll have a check here. We'll say if f gets doesn't return null, 
that must mean there's more to read from the file. And if that's true, we're going to increment line. So that way the next time F gets is called, the next row in our 2D array is used to store the next line of the file. Now we're done reading the data from the file and we're done working with the file. So we can close it. We'll say here, F close file to close the file. Now to make sure we've actually read the data correctly, let's print out each row in our 2D array from zero up until line, the total number of lines that we read from the file. So we'll say for int i is equal to zero, i is less than line, i plus plus. And then we can print out the current row as given by the index i. So we'll say data at index i. So this should be it. We'll save our program, we'll compile it, and we'll test it out. So we'll run it now, and we get line one, line two, line three, line four, and our program is working. So this is how we can read and store the lines of a file into an array of strings in C. With our current approach to solving this problem, we have many rows in our 2D array that aren't being used, and each row contains more characters than really necessary. There's a more sophisticated way we could solve this problem by using a dynamically allocated array of strings that would use only as much memory as necessary. I'll show you how to solve the problem that way in a future video. Check out PortfolioCourses.com, where we'll help you build a portfolio that will impress employers, including courses to help you develop C programming projects.